In this tutorial, what we're going to do is take a look at how to go from a SOLIDWORKS model to something that we can actually laser cut out. So hopefully at this stage uh, in the uh, sort of operation, you've got your model just here. I've got mine, I'm spinning that around, I've got my switch that I've put in. Uh, if I look on the top, a little tweak I've made, maybe you can work out how to do this for yourself, is I've uh, added a material, my top section, to make it transparent so I can see through it. You don't need to do that. But if you look inside, you can see here I've got my... Um, piece of strip board just there, it's got some holes in it, uh, and just underneath it you can see I've actually made some little spacers in there, some little uh, basically circles that I'll use to lift it off the base of the model as well. So just nice little touches already and all built and put together. So uh, here's the way that you're going to do this. Uh, in order to make this work, have your model open. Also have Techsoft 2D open up, I've got mine just here, uh, and then we've got everything we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by opening up the bottom part, just that part by itself, uh, of my model in SOLIDWORKS. So I'm going to go File, uh, I think I called mine Base, it's around here somewhere, there it is, Base. And I'm going to open that up, and here it is. Now, uh, what I need to do is to convert the 2D part of this, this large area that I've got just here, I need to convert that into what's called a DXF, it's just an international file format that we can use that uh, Techsoft 2D can pick up on. So to do it, I click once on the shape, you can see it's turned blue and it's been highlighted. I'm then going to right click the mouse, and from the options I can see there, there's one that says export to DXF DWG, and I'm going to choose that. Um, it doesn't really matter which of these, I'm just going to go save, uh, save as, that's fine. Okay, uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into a folder on my H drive, um, H drive like so. System control, that's me, and probably a good idea to make a folder to keep all these parts in. This is my 2D uh, LED parts, and this is my base. So I'm going to click on save. A common problem that people have when they get to this point is they uh, they sort of forget that and they stop at this point and they move on to the next stage and the next part, but we're not actually finished yet. What we've got to remember to do is to come over here to this far left hand side and click this tick to say, okay, that's what I'd like to do. You'll get a preview of the part, okay, visually that looks pretty right to me, and I can click on save. That part's now done, and it's been turned into a DXF, and what I'll be able to do in a second is to bring that into Techsoft 2D. Let me just do one more part, just so I've got a couple of bits to work with. So I'm done with this for now, so I'm going to close that one, and I'm going to open another part, and we get one of these sides uh, this time. Uh, side B1, there we go, that'll do. Here's my next one of my sides, you can see in here, I've got a hole that I've put in there at some point as well. Uh, that looks to me like the switch hole, I think, but anyway, that's not important. So, uh, click on the shape, right click, export to DXF, save as. Uh, I'll keep the same name, it's automatically put me in the folder that I'm already working in, so that's quite handy. No, it hasn't actually. H drive, uh, system to control, 2 DLED parts, side B1 DXF. Okay, click the green tick. It's my preview and save. And I'll need to repeat that for the other parts. I mean, as you can probably see from my assembly, I went for a sort of a cuboid type shape. Um, and, uh, you know, yours may be used to circly shape instead. That might be quite tricky, actually. Or maybe you went for a hexagon pentagon. It doesn't matter. You just have to cut out the appropriate number of parts. So, into Techsoft, let's look at the final part of this process before we can laser cut. In Techsoft 2D then, you need to have an empty document open, something that you can import your work into. And I'm going to start by going File, and Import File. And I put that in my H drive, didn't I? So I'm into my H drive there, into SNC I used, into 2D parts like this. And I'm going to pick up, I'll do the base first, like so. Now, at this point here, there's a big temptation just to click on OK straight away. If you do that, you're going to have problems. And that's because when the computer imports your shape, you've got to remember we're not working in old-fashioned imperial inches. We're working in millimetres. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of difference between one millimetre, which is tiny, and one inch, which is a lot, lot, lot bigger. OK, so make sure you choose millimetre. Really important. And click on OK. You'll get an error message, you always do, don't worry about that, just click continue and your part's going to land on the page. I'm going to drop that up in this corner. Let's do it again, file, import, I'll bring in my other part this time, which was this side, and open that up, it's on millimetres now, that's quite helpful, click on OK, get the error message again, and continue, and bring it up. Now once you've imported all your parts, um, there's sort of two things to remember. 
Number one, this, this here, in my particular case, I've actually made this exactly the same size as a sheet of MDF. I actually made it uh, 600 wide and 300 tall, okay? On yours, it's actually the size of a sheet of A4 paper, but that's not important, so we're only using a small amount of space. At the same time, we don't want to waste uh, our sheet material. We don't want to waste MDF or acrylic. So what we need to do is to pack all these parts together as tightly as we can to ensure we don't waste our sheet of material. Because if I cut one piece here, one piece here, one piece here, we'd run out in days of material in the department. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of move over here a little bit, move up here a little bit, zoom in. There we go. We'll see the grid now. This is a little bit easier to work with like so, and I'm going to grab these individual parts, I'm going to move them and try and get them as close as I possibly can to each other. Now, when you first load up TechSoft 2D, you're going to have a huge, these dots you've got just here are going to be something like 10 millimeters apart. That makes it quite hard to draw anything accurately. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to get yours to look like mine does now, so you can work accurately. I'm going to go Setup, Drawing, grid coordinates, and I'm going to change these numbers here to one millimeter and one millimeter, okay? And if you want, you can go half and half as well. That one's not so important. But on yours at the moment, it probably says 10 and 10, okay? And we're changing to one and one. And that way now, all your dots will be much, much, much closer together. It means that as I move things around, I'll be able to, because I've seen an opportunity here, look, that and that are designed to fit together on my model. So I can actually bring that up and drop that right inside that, and that will perfectly overlap. I've wasted no material at all there, and that's a really, really good joint. So I could probably get the uh, the lid part, I imagine I could probably sit that on there. I could probably get one of the opposite sides to this, that'll probably sit in there. I might have to grab these two guys here and move those down a little bit to put the opposite part up there. Uh, I can probably uh, what am I going to have? I've probably got a couple of other edges as well. There might be some times where you can't perfectly get them to tessellate like this, but a lot of the time you can. And you want, again, the smallest overall physical area that you can get it packed into. The last thing is the laser cutter itself. With the laser cutter, the laser cutter recognises three different colours. One is black, and one is red, and one is sort of dark blue. If you use black, the laser cutter is just going to do a very light surface etch on the MDF, and that's no good to us because we need to cut out, so we don't need any black. What we actually want is lots and lots of red. Red means cut all the way through. So I'm just going to highlight all my work. I'm going to click on this color button just here, and I'm going to choose pure red. There's one of them there, and that's pure red down there as well, okay? And click on OK. The work now is red, and the laser cutter will cut that out. So my final step to actually get it manufactured is to save my TechSoft document as a TechSoft 2D file. I'll save that in my SNC folder. 2D parts, I call that cutting sheet. And I can now take that file and email it as an attachment to the laser cutter in school. The teacher will be able to give you the email address to do that. 